future of 1976 is right in this old horseshoe stadium. And here they are, the visiting team. What a beautiful setting for this ball game. Michigan team is just coming on the field. We just had the bands put on a wonderful performance. Michigan, the whole school, was first, and certainly our band performed well. Then one of the fine things in college athletics as far as bands are concerned, the Ohio band came on the field, uh, the student body rose to the occasion, and they formed the Ohio Strip, which I think is one of the more intricate moves, which finish out out spelling the uh, state of Ohio. Uh, Wide to the left, Kurt Stevenson. Lido deep and Davis close, first and 10 on their own 20-yard line. Ricky Leach looks over a tight 5-2. That's a 70 front. And then Ricky Leach keeps it. He's up over the 25. He twists to the 28-yard line. Eight yards on the first play of the second half after Ohio State's Tom Sladaney. Along with Stevenson, it's the I formation. Lido deep and Davis close. First and 10 on their own 31-yard line. Pitches off to Lido. He's up over the 30, cuts the 35, down to the 40 to 45, and he is dropped there. First down, Michigan, the maize and blue have taken the second half kickoff. Lido deep and Davis close, third and three at the Ohio State 47-yard line. There is a broken play, and Ricky Leach is going to make the first down to the 40, the 35. He gets away to the 30. He's down to the 26-yard line. Ricky Leach, beautiful running by that sophomore. Donald Lundo, that was a broken play, and it couldn't have been more developed or the better. Line under center is Ricky Leach. He's looking at an eight-man front, and then he goes, rolls out to the right. He pitches forward to right on Donald's down to the 20. Down to the 15-yard line. Nobody called it. Half. Michigan has it first and 10 at the Buckeye 16-yard line. There goes Lytle down the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6-yard line. Rob Lytle, that jet from Fremont, Ohio, ran down the center of the post. The I formation first and goal at the 3-and-a-half-yard line. Ricky Leach under center. He's taking a long count, and he's giving the ball. Davis scores! Russell Davis! Going berserk into the end zone. The ball, George Patton, Schembechler scoring horn, finds Russell Davis rambling in for his fifth touchdown of 1976. He has had seven in his career. He has five this year and two last year as a freshman, and he'll never forget this one here on this beautiful November afternoon, November 20th to be exact of 1976, when the two teams battled to a scoreless tie in the first half, and then Davis climaxed an 80-yard drive as he went all the way down into the end zone from the three-yard line. Zuber is going out. He's holding. Bobby Wood kicks. There it is. The old Patton scoreboard. Joe's Michigan 7, the Buckeyes zip, the momentum is maize and blue. It's Logan deep and Johnson close, and there goes for Pesen, and he hands off to Johnson. Oh, man, as he wrestled back to the 15-yard line, Tedesco, Morton, and Hennessy driving in. Two wide outs. It'll be Hyatt along with Harrell. There is Pater. Pesen back, he's hit back there, and he swallows the ball at the 14-yard line. We weren't going to call that too quick, Big Lendo, because... From the three-yard line. There's a hand up to Logan. He's hit back there at the 14-yard line. Oh, who says football's not a game of emotions? Who says the old maize and blue daubers aren't sky high right now as Michigan's offense moves? Ricky Leach is under center. Smith is tight on the right side at the slot. There goes Ricky Leach. He's rolling out. He pitches off the line of the midfield side. The Ohio State 40. Down to the Buckeye 36-yard line. Majestically rolls the big blue machine. Looks to that eight-man front. And then he goes back and gives the Lido. He has a first down to the Buckeye 22, three yard line. Lido has carried the ball 19 times for 106 yards. Oh, Rob, that's the way we got to think. Come on, you. Quiet down. Two men wide to the right. That's Stevenson and Jimmy Smith. It's Lido deep and Davis close. Second and 12 on the 27. There's the end of the round to Jimmy Smith. He's got three blockers down the 25, the 20, the 15, down the 10, the nine yard line. Beautifully conceived and equally well executed. Michigan had a beautiful play worked out all week long. And tight so ends on a balanced line. It's Rob Lytle deep and Russell Davis close and Ricky Leach under center. And there is Davis down to the five. There it is. It is a touchdown. Oh, Russell Davis. Oh, God bless your cotton picking maize and blue heart from all the way down in Virginia. They're going to hear about this from coast to coast. From the coast of Lake Michigan to the coast of Lake Huron is Russell Davis in for his second touchdown of the afternoon. 52 yards in nine plays, and the first time it was 80 yards in 11 plays. Michigan leads 13 to zip, 
and Jerry Zuber is kneeling at the 10-yard line. Calm down, Eufer, calm down. It's spotted. He rolls out to the right. He's going to run with the ball, and he has two points. He has two points. Oh, Bo Schembechler. Joe Falls, who says he plays dull and boring football? We got to get Joe Falls. He's bored to death up here reading Dale Carnegie's book. One man and back, out. that's Johnson. Two men out to the left. A rollout play action pass. And he's going to run and he's going to be trapped at the 40 yard line. And moving in there was Mr. Akron, Ohio, all Big Ten last year and slated to be all Big Ten. Greg Morton, number 77. It'll line. It'll be third down and six. Lytle deep, Davis close. Jimmy Smith wide to the left. It's a 7-4 defense, and Ricky Leach keeps the ball, and he's going to go up over the midfield stripe, and he's out of bounds at the Buckeye 44-yard line. First down, Ricky Leach, and oh, Lytle deep, and Davis close. Ricky Leach under center, looking at a 5-2-4. Ricky Leach keeps the ball, pitches out to 40. He's cut down to the 35, down out of bounds at the 31-yard line, and Rob Lytle was decked after he'd gone out of bounds, and Ohio talks about cheap shots. You know, they tight ends in a balanced line. There is Davis take, faking at it. There's pitched out to Lytle. He's over the 30, down the 25, the 24, the 23-yard line. And remember, it's Lytle deep and Davis close. It's third and six, and there is Ricky Leach back for pass. He throws downfield, and it is intercepted, I believe, by Ohio State at the 11-yard line. Tom Roche intercepts. And the Buckeyes pick up their first turnover of the afternoon at the rate of 81%. It's Logan deep. Pacenta's back for a pass. Pacenta throws downfield. Zuber has it at the 25. Down to the 20. Down to the 15. Zuber has interception number six for his senior year. And Jerry Zuber, who just a few moments ago... Lido deep and Davis close and Ricky Leach under center and he gives to Lido. He's down the 15, 10, 5, 4 yard line. Oh, Ricky Leach hands off to Rob Lytle and Lytle in his last year. Against Ricky him. Leach asks for the crowd to settle down as he hands off to Rob Lytle and it is! There it is! Oh, Rob Lytle picks up touchdown number 28 on his career. He has picked up 15 touchdowns in this his all-american season he has climaxed a great big michigan afternoon giving the wolverines 21 maize and blue points on that little stinking scoreboard that's been here since yost came here to dedicate this stadium in 1922 i remember well yost stood there and said my goodness they should have a bigger scoreboard and they haven't changed it since Kneeling is Jerry Zuber at the 10. It's spotted. It's end over end. And, oh, Bobby Wood on the season makes it 87 out of 91. Shutouts and now. They're going for their fifth. Pacenta's back. Cox's arm. He's going to eat the ball back on the Buckeye 43-yard line. And Mr. Tom, maybe Skladani won't come in with only four minutes and 33 seconds back remaining. In. Close in the I formation. There is Stacy Johnson giving to the fullback King, and he's hit right there. That's all there is. There isn't any more. 60 minutes of the most glorious, exciting football that we've seen in a long, long time. Sure, the, the score was lopsided, 22 to nothing, but I tell you, it was very enjoyable. There go the players carrying off Schembechler on their shoulders. Old man Eufer is wrapping up his 313th broadcast over the last 32 years, and I don't know whether I've ever been any happier than I am right at this moment, not unless it involves something concerning my seven youngsters. That's right, I've got seven youngsters. No, I'm not Catholic, just careless. But Michigan certainly was not careless here this afternoon as those comeback coronary kids on this Michigan football team of 1976 have come from the depths of despair just 14 days ago down at Lafayette, Purdue, to the heights of ecstasy here this afternoon, right here at the Ohio State Snake Pit. And at the moment, as I look around, I see the entire stadium is covered with a halo of maize and blue, 22 halos of maize and blue. All these Michigan Wolverines, they've just led the Wolverines into the promised land. No, they haven't parted any water to lead Michigan into the promised land of Pasadena, California. But they have shaved a few hairless nuts here this afternoon. That's Buckeyes to you and me, as well as tickling the fancy of over 280,000 living Michigan. Michigan, the champions of the world.